hi guys welcome back to my channel uh, today's video is on highlighting and contouring as you know your makeup is not complete if you have not highlighted properly or contoured properly anyway so I usually do like highlight and contour in my normal makeup videos but like I recently posted like requesting requests from on Instagram and so many people were telling me to do the contouring and highlighting video so I decided to do it in detail this time D to the tail yes honey anyway so yeah you can see how I do everything in this video from the no makeup face to the foundation contour highlights everything is in here so Please watch and please subscribe if you've not already subscribed. Okay, so first things first, I'm going to be applying my beautifully matte makeup base by number 7. And I'm just using this as a primer. And this is just to keep my face really matte and then just keep the oil out and just make my foundation last really long. And then for my foundation, I'm going to be applying my MAC Studio Fix fluid foundation in NW50 and I'm going to be rubbing that all over my face with this kabuki brush and then after that I'm just going to use a powder brush which has like no makeup on it and I'm just going to use that to buffer it down when I'm done. To conceal my face, I'm going to be using my LA Girl Pro Conceal Concealer in Almond and I'm just going to be concealing underneath my eyes, my forehead, my T-zone and my chin. Like you basically just have to make yourself look like a crying harvest or something. To contour, I'm going to be using another LA Girl Pro Conceal Concealer and this is in dark cocoa. It's just like one or two shades darker than my skin because I don't like to go like all the way with contouring like so so dark and then it looks like it's like drag queen kind of thing. So I just stick to like a color that I'm comfortable with. I'm just going to damp my beauty blender with some water and then just blend out all of the concealing and the contouring and the highlighting all together and the reason I wet my beauty blender is because it just helps it to it just helps your application e to be easier and then that pointy part of the beauty blender just helps to blend the inner corners of your eyes and everything well I'm going to be using this Benai Banana Powder to set the highlighted areas in my face. I know it looks kind of scary right now, but don't worry, it will all come together in the end. So I'm just going to be setting underneath my eyes, my forehead, my chin, you know, just the areas I highlighted. The reason for setting is because you don't want your makeup to crease like after a while, so it just keeps it in place. I'm going to be using this MAC Studio Fix Powder in NW50 and I'm using this to just set my contour and contour my nose. I'm contouring the sides of my nose and this is just to give an illusion of a slimmer nose. I'm going to be using the same brush just to blend it into the rest of my face and I'm doing this because I don't just want like my face to look like segmented and everything so I'm going to be contouring the top of my temples and then my cheekbones and this is just to give my face a sunken effect. Yeah. 
again I'm going to be using the edge of this angled kabuki brush and I'm using that to just blend my contour of my cheeks with the highlights just above my face so it doesn't look you know segmented and then I'm going to be contouring my cupid's bow just above it and this is just to give my mouth this heart shape and just to define it more <laughs> yes and then I'm going to be like giving my face some more structure and I'm just going to be applying some contour to the edges of my chin and then I'm going to be applying some more Benai powder just beneath my jawline and I'm just doing this to just emphasize my contoured cheeks to add some more highlight to my face I'm going to be using this bronzing powder by H&M and I'm just going to be applying this to my nose and my cheeks and this is just to give my face this dewy glowy effect you know from all the matte things that I have on my face so my face doesn't just look dry and dull and I'm also going to be applying some just above right above my cupid's bow and then I'm also going to go back with my contouring powder that's the dark powder and I'm just going to be contouring the sides of my face this is just to like slim down my face a little give the illusion of a slimmer face and then I'm just going to blend that in with this face powder to bring back color to my face I'm going to be using this sleek blusher and I'm using the pink lemonade one and I'm just going to be adding some blush to my cheekbones and just I don't know to brighten up my face a bit and then I'm just going to blend everything together you see it all comes together like I said it doesn't look too light or too dark it's just all right for me and yeah for my lip I'm going to be using this deep purple lip liner by NYX and then I'm going to be using this lipstick this is by Ron Care Beauty Marks and it's really really lovely it's like my go-to nude shade right now because it has this sparkle inside and I'm going to leave a link down below she's a Nigerian entrepreneur so you guys should check her out she has other products and they're really really nice and then I'm just going to be like adding some ombre to the lip and I'm using my MAC pencil in magenta and then I'm going to be adding some lip gloss which is my Givenchy lip gloss in I don't remember but yeah that's it for the video and you should check the, the description box down below I'm going to leave everything I used down below and also the link to my eyebrow tutorial is down below thank you for watching yeah, so that's about it for this video thank you for watching and I hope you learned something please don't forget to subscribe and don't forget to email me if you need a wig made for you yes honey subscribe and I'd like to say thank you for 1000 subscribers like I was just celebrating 100 subscribers some minutes ago and then 1,000 subscribers out of nowhere anyway thank you guys and please subscribe if you're not subscribed subscribe and see so, so yeah and I also posted a uh, an eyebrow tutorial it's an updated eyebrow tutorial you should watch that eyebrow tutorial it's not like your usual eyebrow tutorials yes honey is different because I did like three different types of ways so and so many people have actually told me to like start making wigs like for other people like as a business and I'm looking into that so um, if you want your wigs made you should send me an email which is what no makeup by wani at yahoo.com so yeah that's it Juices. this one is detailed D to the tail Who they call me?